Welcome to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to do my December wrap up for you. Um, I did not have a good reading month, honestly. I just went into a slump and it was just really hard for me to really want to read anything. But I did manage to read two books, which I think is a victory for me because again, it was really hard for me to read anything. <laughs> But I think I ended the year on a good note because I think I chose some really good, like the two books that I chose were pretty good to end the year with, so I'm happy. The first book that I read was I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver. This has a uh, non-binary representation and I believe Mason Deaver is also non-binary as well. Um, I adored the story so much. I loved the idea of found family. It's one of my favorite tropes or like I, like plots or whatever you like to call it. It's one of my favorite things. I love it so much. Um, especially if it's like a group of friends and like all this kind of stuff. It's just my favorite thing. It brings me so much joy and I just loved how like heartbreaking but yet positive the story was and how Ben just needed to figure out like who they wanted to be and like who they wanted to let in their lives and I just I adored that so much I loved their sister um just all the things Nathan was one of my favorites too I thought he just was awesome and he I I loved how, see, how supportive he was towards Ben and honestly I loved the support that Ben was able to get from people who didn't even really know them that well like their friends they met and then of course their sister as well who was I loved how supportive she was and how she was constantly trying to be better even when she made mistakes in misgendering Ben like she still was just like striving to be better you know what i mean and so like i just kind of love that i gave this a five out of five stars and yeah so excited that i was able to read this the next book i read was 10 blind dates by ashley elston i also gave this a five out of five stars i thought those super cute and adorable um it's about a girl who uh, basically gets dumped and her family decides to take it upon themselves to set her up on blind dates during the holidays and it's hilarious but also really heartwarming like she has this big Italian family so I didn't grow up with a big family so it, I always love stories where a character has a big family or again a big found family and I love like experiencing that through their perspective because like it's something I've always wanted to experience so yeah definitely love this definitely recommend this um it was a very good christmasy read too and just like holiday-esque read overall so that was my very short december wrap-up i'm hoping 2020 will be so much better for me in regards to getting out of the slump and reading so pray for me um if you like the video please like it down below if you have any comments on these two books that i read please comment them down below if you are not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below i'm stealing the idea for my friend sylvia from wish fulfillment and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, you are totally welcome. I have a Twitter, a Goodreads, and then a Bookstagram that are linked down below. And if you want to be update notified every time I update a new video or upload a new video, please uh, hit that bell button down below as well. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.